Like so many boys growing up in the 1950s, George Carruthers dreamed of the stars. My interest in space science and astronomy came about by reading science fiction and comic books. Uh, of course, that was long before there was a space program, so people weren't really overly enthusiastic, including my relatives, about my interest in astronomy. I was really interested in space from the engineering point of view, having read about it in Werner von Braun's publication. At the Naval Research Laboratory, Carruthers launched his career investigating far ultraviolet astronomy. One of the projects that I came to do was to look for molecular hydrogen in interstellar space, which could be detected only by the use of ultraviolet spectroscopy. The discovery of this interstellar gas yielded insight into how stars form. Applying his engineering expertise, Carruthers next developed a far ultraviolet spectrograph camera, which in 1972 traveled to the moon on the Apollo 16 mission. This was the first time that the Earth had been photographed from a distance in ultraviolet light so that you could see the full extent of the hydrogen atmosphere, the uh, polar auroras, and what we call the tropical air glow belt. Today, that camera still stands. Since then, the instrument has imaged a comet from Skylab and flown on several shuttle missions. This pioneering space scientist remains devoted to helping the next generation realize their dreams. <laughs>